gentlemen, start your egos. It's a Hey, I'm Nat. I'm Jenny. And this is Oscar Bay. And we're here to guide you through all the highs and lows as we go towards the Oscar season. It's getting pretty exciting now. The race is heating up. A lot more movies coming out, at least here in Australia. I've already been out in the States for a while. But also, it's a big time for the States to get movies too. Today, we're going to have a look at Suffragette. <laughs> Not want to be lawbreakers. We want to be lawmakers. The only way is forward. I'm worth no more, no less than you. We will win. This film is all about Maud Watts. She's played by Carrie Mulligan. Uh, who is a laundry worker uh, who's been working in a laundry since she was about nine years old or mm, something mm. Um, and meets a new co-worker who uh, is part of the, you know, she goes to these meetings Ooh. about women's suffrage. Oh, that's interesting. She yells vote for women a lot. She does. <laughs> she ends up developing an interest in fighting for the right to vote and joins the suffragette movement. So, Jenny. What do you think of Suffragette? Um, I actually went in not really expecting much, to be honest, because it sort of has not really made much of a splash. Mm. Um, but then I walked out really liking it. I was actually really moved by it. I'm not a crier in movies, <laughs> but I will judge a movie positively if it makes me feel very strong emotion, because mm. that means it's worked. And there's a scene in this where I was so close to crying. I know the one you mean. I did cry. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was oh. very intense. So, yeah, no, I think I, I'm i surprised that this movie is not getting more attention. Yeah, I mean, I, I there's so much I love about it. Um, I mean, there's also some problems with it. Mm. Uh, the cinematography is just atrocious. It's rough. <laughs> it's very bad. Um, but the performances are very strong. Yeah. Um, I guess one of the other things about this film is, I guess, like the pacing and you get to the end of it and because it's only a snippet of this struggle and particularly yeah. because the struggle in England and the struggle doesn't really resolve until after World War One. Yeah, no. Um, so you, you get the start of the story, but you don't really get the resolution of, hooray, they got the vote. So you, you're left feeling like... Like, there's not much closure. Yeah. I find problems with biopics are that they try to get everything in instead yeah, of Yeah, and they focusing. try to wrap it up neatly. I actually kind of respect them more mm. for taking the snippet route because yeah. it means they can sort of focus in more on, um, you know, their reasons. I think this film was really good at portraying, um, you know, just how difficult it was mm. to be a woman then and how absurd... Um, how absurd people were back then. Mm -hmm. Also, don't try and seek more than you're worth. Yeah. Like, people never really yeah, no. were meant to succeed their class. Yeah. And that so. sort of – and it was that kind of stuff in this movie that also elicited anger in me mm -hmm. <laughs> because I still think that that kind of um, societal pressure is still pervasive and you might not see it, but, you know, it, and so – Seeing it in this absurd context where mm. it was, like, no rights at all for women, um, I can still, like, apply it to, you know, the world we still live in and pressure on women to be mothers or mm. to, to change their name, all that sort of stuff. And so it kind of, like, I was getting, like, feminist angry <laughs> while I was watching this movie as well. Emotional, feminist angry. I went through everything. It's good. It's done its job then. <laughs> How do we think Oscar chances out of Merrill's? Finally, we're reviewing hey! a film with Merrill in it. That's one for the bingo card. Yeah, that's it. Take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you think Oscar chances wise? Well, look, this is also um, I may may get feminist angry again here because it has been completely snubbed in all the lead up. Yeah. categories or the lead up awards it's it's received no sag award nominations no golden globe nominations 
I, th- I think this is a robbery. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, and I'm not sure if it's because it's a British film or because it's got female producers or – I'm not sure because, honestly, if you're looking at the the field of a lot of these categories, best actress – Carrie Mulligan, she should take it. in a great reckon, effort here. Yeah. It's a beautiful, subtle performance. It does like put you on the verge oh. of tears or makes you cry. She <laughs> and she, but she transforms really well yeah. over the film as well. If anything, she should be getting. She should some be nods. getting nominations. Um, and I yeah. like. I mean, I come from a biased place, and I understand that. When I was sitting in the credits, and I was seeing all the above the line names. Most of them were female names, with the exception of like editing and cinematography and some of the producers. Um, and I was just thinking, this is just this is Hollywood still doing the same thing, not rewarding women who actually get their movies out there. Mm. I mean, there's disgusting statistics about you know major Hollywood movies only five percent are directed by women. There's only been one Academy Award winning director, mm. which is Catherine Bigelow, so it only happened a few years ago. Yeah. And so I watch I look at the credits and I just go, I think they're they're not doing it on purpose, maybe, but I feel like it's a gender snub. You think this movie would tick all the boxes? It's got Meryl in it, and she's fabulous, even if she's only in it for a bit. <laughs> it's a historical film, it's about a struggle, tick. it's tick. very timely. Tick. as well <laughs> so what's gone wrong for suffragette we don't know maybe their campaigning just hasn't been up to Strong scratch it, it really does surprise me after seeing mm. it i figured because it hadn't gone any notice i figured it was probably not good mm. but after seeing it i don't get it <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm perplexed by it yeah so oscar chances wise are looking pretty slim i don't want to give it like two merrills but i think i'm gonna have to i'm gonna give it one merrill yeah i'm just gonna give it the 15 minutes of merrill that you get in the movie <laughs> because i yeah. really i want carrie mulligan to win and i don't think she's even gonna get nominated which i think is robbery <laughs> yeah it's it's very disappointing Oh, yeah, I'll give it to Meryl's. But, you know, it, it would be good to see her nominated, but unfortunately I don't think this one's going to scoop up any, which I'm pretty annoyed about, to be honest. Yeah, I actually am kind of annoyed also. Mm. Are you annoyed? Let us know what you think. Leave us a comment below. Uh, you can chuck us an email, oscarbaitpodcast at gmail.com. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you don't want to put your views in the comments, which – I feel like YouTube doesn't care about that. But if you don't, email us. (laughs) Yeah, and you can uh, like us on Facebook and Twitter as well. Give us a subscribe if you want to see more reviews, and we'll catch you next time. Catch ya. Uh, There's a very brief, uh, very brief appearance, even though she's on the poster and all of the materials, from Meryl Streep, the queen of the Oscars herself, uh, who plays Emmeline Pankhurst. She's only in the movie for about... Five minutes, though. I think that the the producers were probably super happy to score Meryl Streep, so I think they're just they're just bragging at this stage. It was a pretty good get. She's she's pretty great.